Hello and welcome to the Nitty Kitties channel and I am Any Art Netty. Now today I'm going to be any so netty because I'm showing you this brand new sewing machine I got for Christmas. I got it early because it was in a Black Friday deal. It is by a brand called U10 which I've never heard of. I'll link their website below so you can see a bit more about them. They make different electronical items and things for around the home like potato peelers and a little exercise wheel that you can sit and just exercise to while you're watching the telly. This is their sewing machine. Now while researching for a sewing machine, me and my partner were looking for a, a specific either a brother or a single one. Now at a certain budget and we noticed that all the electronic ones were kind of six and seven hundred pound. This is an electronic one and it was under two hundred pound. Obviously that's in Black Friday deals so if you're watching this at another time of year it will be a different price potentially so it probably won't be the same as I got it really cheap. So this particular one I don't know how advanced people are I'll try and cater for everyone from beginner to the level I'm at which is just a little bit above beginner I'm not professional in any way I'm still learning a lot myself this is this is very good for a beginner because I just um, I was able to set it up straight away I've had a little go out the box and it was pretty straightforward it was more intimidating than it looks but once you get into it if you've handled the sewing machine before you'll be absolutely fine I'm sure so we shall start with there's a little switch at the side here there's a little plug to put your foot pedal in and then to a plug to the mains and I'll just show you what it looks like when it switches on the electronic comes on here, it makes a little buzzy noise um, but I shall show you that in a little bit I'll show you the little basic bits that we can do together and what comes with the sewing machine so it came with a cover if you haven't got one yourself you can protect it from dust straight away so it's just a standard plastic cover there was in here if you move this on here, it only needs a little nudge and then there, if I just get that out because it slides out. In here there was a little sample of some stitches, That's a, there's little dogs and patterns and all sorts, it comes with 200 stitches including letters and numbers and hidden away in that as well with some accessories so this protects your bobbin on the end so it doesn't go flying off there's these bobbins here there's a little brush for cleaning and maintenance for your machine a stitch picker I think there's two of them there's spare needles which is fantastic and there's all different all the different feet you need for whatever fabric you are using and everything like that is explained in the book so if you're not just using a standard cotton you can see what you need and the instruction manuals are in English, German, French and Italian there's one for each and there's also a quick start guide so you can get going straight away but I think I'm very very pleased overall the only thing which was a little bit of a nag was that there wasn't a cover on this LCD but I can live with that it's absolutely fine so I'm just going to slide this back on I'll show you what's on the other side of that in a minute I'll have to explain but, um, as for getting started I'm just going to go through the guide and quickly show you. This does come off, so you've got your handle there and then you can pop that on so you've got a quick reference as well as that for your guide for your letters. So the first thing you need to do is 
to pop your bobbin on make sure that the thread is underneath now mine's got little notches in there so I have covered it with a bit of tape it's a bit botch but there you go that slides on there if you can see I'm so left-handed I apologize but there we go it shows you a guide on that so you can't really go wrong there it shows you a map of how to do it and it's got numbers as well so there's no way to go wrong really so that goes underneath there's a little notch here at the back and you follow the numbers one two two down oops and because i haven't put the spool on there the spool in there so that keeps on there so it can't go flying off three and then it's got four there you're supposed to have that at the highest it will go and you end there now this particular machine has got a threader on it so instead of tackling it for about 10-15 minutes trying to get it through the whole excuse me trying to get it through the eye it's a lot easier with that built in also to mention as well you can cut the thread here there's a thread cutter at the back so as for threading the needle there is a video on this and i will link that somewhere here and i do believe that's off their website so if you can watch it's pretty easy i've never done this before and it was quite i found intimidating but as soon as i did it i was well it wasn't as difficult as i thought so the first bit there and if i remember there that goes round you pop that as far down as it goes pop it back that bit now is holding the needle so you take that under this silver bit here make that go round and as that's going round that little bit at the back is pushing the thread through for you so no more messing around for 10 or 15 minutes trying to thread the needle and the good thing about this machine as well is it's a drop-in bobbin so that takes that messing around as well the last one i had had a bobbin that went in the side there I've forgotten the name of that <laughs> everyone will be shouting it at me um but this is a lot different you just drop it in and i've never seen that before i didn't even know it was a thing but all you have to do is keep hold of that thread and luckily it came all set up for me with that bobbin in already so that was nice there's a little bit here that you turn round here and so if you watch the bit at the top as I'm turning that wheel that's going to go to its highest position up there and all you have to do to make sure then is the two threads are facing the back of the machine make sure there's a lot there few inches and you're ready to go then oh, get back you're ready to go it's as simple as that so what we're going to do next is actually show you how it works show it in action doing a few stitches right so we're going to show a few stitches and show it in action so let's switch that on And you'll notice if you want it in letter mode see this a you change it to that but at the minute we're gonna look at the patterns and there's so many of them so there's 99 there and then you've got another 99 so many there's cars dogs swans boats whatever you want no cats though shall we just do a normal one that you probably know off the machine so I'm going to go for a zigzag, which is number three. And you just press it in like that, up, 
down and you got your stitch length and stitch width so you can change that automatically you don't have to mess around with any dials and then you just you can either press start and stop there's the reverse needle position there just in case you need that and then you've got your tension as well which you can change i just leave that at four but if i've got thicker or thinner fabrics you can change that now this is your to make it faster if i press down on the foot pedal it's going to stay at the same speed now i'm doing this as a learner the first time with this machine but as you get to know it you can increase that speed more so as you press down it will go faster but it's pretty much only going to stay in driving terms in first gear so i'm going to keep it in first gear for this first bit so i'm ready to go it's showing the needle position on there and it's showing that i've got the foot pedal on so let's see it do a zigzag and it's not very noisy very gentle quiet machine so that's a good thing and that's a good lesson as well always make sure that your threads have gone right under that foot because otherwise it's gonna try and shall we have a look at this so see that lever there to press that up and down so you can release never put your foot down if this foot is up always make sure put the foot down first that's standard with pretty much every sewing machine i guess so we're just gonna make sure this time that i've got that right under the foot so it won't drag along and there we are we've got a lovely zigzag stitch there So you can see it yeah there we are i know where to position it now <laughs> there we go i've tried to choose a darker color so it showed up nice so I'll just snip those ends away there move them out of the way and i'll show you another stitch so which one's nice something different i'll choose 34 to go into tens, so you're not pressing it, say you want to choose 34, so you're not pressing this 33 times or whatever, you can press and hold, and we can go to 13, 23, and 33, just press and hold it. If you want to go individually, press it once. So there we go, we're at the one I want, 34, make sure your foot is down, those threads are at the back and under that foot, and... Can you do should we? No? FC, because the foot if you press that and the foot pedal is inserted into the machine, it won't let you. So if you want to use start and stop, you remove the foot pedal. So we're on the foot pedal. There we go. Just thought I'd demonstrate that so you can see what happened. Now that is good to if you want to remove the foot pedal and just use that if you're doing quilting now i do have a video on the machine called scan and cut which you might be able to see through there i'll link that video this would be fantastic to use a sewing machine for your cutting your fabrics and then you can use this to do your stitching so i think that might be a cheaper if this still is cheaper when it's not black friday a cheaper option if you need a sewing machine as well so yeah it can do all your quilting patterns and everything uh, i don't know why <laughs> your quilting patterns and your embroidery as well and also i said lettering didn't i it does even it's got at question mark and all your different symbols commas and everything like that full stops it does the lot and it even does umlauts if you're German. So, there we go. Now, just for the sake of telling you, I'm not sponsored or affiliated by any brand I'm mentioning this, including U10, I'm not sponsored, but if they're watching, hello. <laughs> See, that's being cheeky there. But yeah, not sponsored or affiliated by anything that you can see here. 
so that's made a lovely cross stitch that could be for a border or a bit of, bit of embroidery so shall we do what I want to show you is it also does almost like filled embroidery so this would be an absolute lifesaver if you're doing embroidery and you've cut the time incredibly so let's change it to 46 so then you have to press once 46 and there we go and sit there for hours stitching or you can just do this in minutes it's up to you i quite like stitching and that but it's whatever you like isn't it i mean this is going to be perfect spot on like i say you can go faster than this but i just thought i'd show it at the learner's pace I'll go for a nice patterned border in a minute with it. I'm not sure whether to pick a car, a dog, a swan or a boat. I think I might go for the dog. It's the nearest I've got to a pet, a pet or an animal. <laughs> I have to write to Uton or however you say it. And we need to do cats as well. <laughs> I'll see what I can find on them. I found the website, but I'll see if I can find such stuff like Facebooks and Instagram and stuff like that. So, got three lovely stitches there. So you can see that's like half a Christmas tree. How fab is that? And next I shall show you this more of a fun one so we'll go like I say we'll go with the dogs so 87 just hold that down save you pressing the button 87 times and watch what this does I'll just do about the same length again if you've got any questions or anything you want to know about this please do message down below or should I say comment down below <laughs> please do comment down below and I will try my best to answer them it is moderated so please do be patient we moderate all of the comments but we'll get back to you as soon as we can and if anyone wants to join in and has got a lot more knowledge than me please do feel free So as you see it does go back and forth so you don't need to hold it but with the old machine I had which I absolutely loved I, you do get used to holding it see and I'm not used to this being automatic it just does all the work for you but it's good to keep your eye on it <laughs> so there we go. I'm just impressed by how quiet it is actually and it is quite rhythmic as well <laughs> and rather musical so I think that's done enough dogs there shall we have a look at it so I've got into a habit as you can see of snipping it off myself <laughs> when there is a cutter already attached to it so it's produced little dogs there in a row. I think that would be wonderful for children's clothing or something like that. So what we'll do next is some letters. So you can see what that's like. I know we've got the sample inside here, but it's always good to test it for yourself. So again, we'll just make sure that's underneath there. And honest to God, if, I, if I've missed anything out, please do comment and I'll we'll do another video or something like that. And we'll uh, try and answer everything I can. So we're changing into letter mode. So you press that A. And you'll see an A appear there for the letters and numbers. So I'm probably going to write kitties. 
um, the thing I've noticed is you can't really, unless we'll try and find it and see, investigate, you can't really change the size of the letters. You can change lowercase there to capitals, but it does a space in between as well, and that's what the width is. So you can change, sorry, the length in between, press and hold that. It kind of goes through one by one if I'm on. It doesn't do like the letters. But it goes up to three, three mil, I presume. The, the length between each letter, so you can have, you can do that. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I lost me, I lost my trail of thought then. So this that you can attach to your handle here when it's in the down position, you can pop that there for quick reference because obviously it's not on here. So we want um, kitty as I said, didn't I? So we'll go with capital first, capital K. So you can do that again, press and hold, and it goes straight to 20. So stops any messing around, doesn't it? Let's imagine how boring it is pressing that 20 times. So now it's automatically stopped when it's finished doing the, the first letter. I'm going to leave it like that so it goes in a straight line. So my next letter is KI. So I want a lowercase i. So I'm going to press all that down to 40 and then 44. And just press on the foot pedal. pedal. And that's going to do that i for me. And it will stop as soon as it's done that. So we want two T's next. So 55. Press and hold. And just press that once. Foot pedal again. So if you don't want foot pedal, the pedal. <laughs> Can't get me words out tonight. Foot pedal, you just press that start and stop there. Depends what you like really, doesn't it? And you press it again. And it does another T. I T T so we want another lowercase i so we go down again to 44 there we go so lowercase e down to 40 is a lowercase s lovely so let's press the lever up I'll oh, use the that one day where you can snip it off there but I'll get used to it. Now what's happened is the tension, sorry, the tension is probably too high or low because the pink is showing through which is my back one. Now once you got your, once you got your smaller snippy ones, you snip off in between the letters. These are right handed. Yeah, so that's what's happened there. So you can easily change that with that dial there. Increase or decrease your tension. And you know that if that back thread is showing through, we've used two different colours so we can see the difference. You can change that tension. So there we go. We've got little letters showing our channel name or part of our channel name. <laughs> right, so at the time of making this video, it's 2020. 
hopefully you're looking maybe you're looking in a different year now it's further on and it's like hopefully things have got better we've well, currently got this kufalitis thing going on <laughs> i didn't want to say the real one make up my own words so we're all making masks trying to stay safe and i've got this nice london fabric and these are when i first made one it was too small the fabric I cut it on my scan and cut, which I always do, not sponsored. And yeah, they were just a bit too small to make a mask with. So I thought these would be nice to demonstrate something that you can actually make with a machine and show that in action. So what I do is I put the two, I'll show you. That would be the right side with the pattern. So this is the wrong side and I've set that up there so I'm going to do that out a bit. Now where I found the pattern from I'll link that down below if that's helpful. I've selected stitch number one, not the letter mode, the stitch mode or embroidery and I'm just going to stitch around there. So let's have a look at what it can do. So we're just going to follow that line around there. So this will be the very first thing I've made and it is literally just a demonstration piece as these are very small rough <laughs> pieces that are cut completely wrong. I don't think it's got the, the hem allowance on it, so. I'm just gonna lift that up so I can tease that there and around there. So away we go again. And we're just gonna come up to the nose here, which as you can see, it's completely rough. <laughs> but hopefully this will just demonstrate something that it's current at the minute but hopefully isn't if you're watching way in the future <laughs> so there we go we'll come to the end there lift that lever up oh the thing about that is as well which i didn't mention it's got three different positions so It'll stay there and then it'll stay there as well so I didn't mention that so we've got our piece there I'll just snip off here so you can see that more close up and you got your outer piece for your mask there you see it's a very tiny mask there we go so we've got that and what we need to do actually just to make that neater is you need to make sure you're not cutting into those stitches there so often so that will make there we go that looks better we'll stitch these two for the lining as well that's terrible <laughs> yeah I cut them very wrong and too close with no seam allowance is what happened but I hope this demonstrates for you. So away we go with the lining piece. Now the way I make them, I've got a little pocket that you can put your filter in. Some, some of them you can actually make, you can slide it. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, now what's happened is the bobbin has come loose. That's actually good to show, it's no worries because it can show something that can happen. Make sure your needle goes up there. And we'll just, 
it stops completely if something happens like that so you are able to because if that carried on it would make more of a problem that's my cat meow so it's very simple if something goes wrong it doesn't bunch up as well my old machine if something happened like that and you need to stop it it wouldn't stop this one senses automatically that the bobbin has snapped in this case so there it just snapped it happens this is quite old cotton as well so and the old one it bunch up and it just well that's the project ruined with this it doesn't I can just snip off again and I can carry on so that's that's a lifesaver so what we need to do is we need to thread this again so make sure that goes underneath there make sure we've got plenty and you follow this pattern here it's pretty easy like again it it, it shows you one two three make sure this is as high as it can be there so you can pop that around and i'll show you a good video actually it's a universal one and i'll link it up in the top right corner of how to thread and how to do bobbins but in this case it's dropping but i'll pop it in in case you need it so you pop it there and my old one had two of them either side so i think that was for two needles let's make sure that goes in there round and as far down as it can go that's holding the needle now so you put that under there and it's pulled that through brilliant that is a time saver that was kind of the bit i was mildly intimidated by i wasn't quivering in the corner in fear <laughs> it was a case of oh that looks a bit complicated but once you've done that once it's not an issue and it's easier than it looks you know i'm left-handed and everything's a bit right-handed it's simple so we're gonna wind that there keeping hold of that and to its highest position up there there we go and you can see that up there and that's threaded it so it wasn't such a bad thing that going wrong because it showed how easy it is that if something does go wrong it doesn't bunch up all your fabric and completely ruin the project so we can carry on hooray so there we are Let's carry on. And as you'll see, it does go back. So it back stitches that and that stitch has got no chance of coming out. Because normally you'd have to kind of do that yourself. Does that make sense on a normal machine? But this one does that back stitch reversing for you. gonna go I went the other way so that started at the nose and we're gonna go down to the chin there we go let's pop that up and the thing I've noticed as well when you do press stop on that the needle goes automatically up so you don't have to start winding here and it's it's not still stuck in the project it's it's up so that's a good thing to note as well it's a big help so we're just gonna do that again where we stitch we stitch we cut and we don't cut into the thread where you've sewed there just do it just makes the seam a lot nicer there and we're gonna get that piece frustrated blue peter presentery isn't it wanna be <laughs> and 
they join in there and there is maybe a mask for a doll because <laughs> it's too small for for a person <laughs> maybe someone's doll can have one I suppose just for the sake of saying I do <laughs> I do sell masks so if anyone is interested just UK based I'm afraid though I do have a shop on Amazon handmade and I'll link that in the description if you're interested and um, what we're gonna do is sew around that edge now Do you know what I've done? No, you don't. <laughs> did you notice what I did there? Yeah, one thing is make sure that's under there. Oh yeah, do you know what? Never mind that. Here's one I made earlier. That's a nice Viking <coughs> fabric. I do believe I've still got that in stock. And what I do is I've got elasticated ears there, so that bun that bunch is there, so it fits tight to your skin and there isn't any gaps. And then there's a wire in there, actually like like a I've forgotten the name of it, but it's fitted so it can go straight around your nose with no gaps at all. So that's brilliant for spectacle wearers and. There we go. Just for your peace of mind, I suppose. I can't lay any medical claims on these things. I also do ear savers and one is included with every mask. So as I say, sadly UK only, but I do do them. And if anyone wants any thing where you, you make them or any tips like that, let me know and we'll all join together in that discussion down below. So, I think that's all I can say about this machine. I really, really love it. Really love it. Um, it's made a wonderful Christmas present. I'm over the moon. So, I hope that's answered any questions about it. But, like I say, comment below. And please do subscribe because we'll be having more videos coming soon. And it really does help me if you like this video. And in, if you want to join us, that's that's brilliant that'll make my day so thank you very much and i'll see you soon again bye for now